Hi, I'm Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's newsletter is going to be the true me. Well, I've got an email success story from a young guy, 21 years old, and he shares how my work has completely helped him change his life, how he's showing up in his professional life as well as his personal life. And he shares how on a recent trip he met a woman. They were both on a, uh, like a vacation style trip together, and there was instant chemistry, instant attraction, Kind of like he said, one of those goosebump type of moments that I talk about that typically every two to three years, somebody will come along in your life that just knocks your socks off. It's, it's a more than a physical attraction. It's something that it's invisible there. Yeah, you're really physically attracted to the other person, but there's something familiar about them. You kind of feel like you've known them forever. A conversation just flows. Kind of like when you meet your best friend, you just kind of click and it's just easy and effortless to get along. And the more you talk, the more you realize how many shared experiences, goals, and values that you have in common. But obviously, in order for these types of events to blossom, love at first sight, if you will, and to be able to get into a relationship and date somebody like that, you got to know what you're doing instead of talking the other person out of liking you. So I got a quote that I wrote in this topic. I'm going to go through his email and see how he took what he learned from me and applied it in all areas of his life that completely changed the way he looked at things and obviously the results he was getting compared to what he had done in the past. The quote says, it's not easy embracing the true nature of who you really are. Our fears literally rob us of great opportunities to take the next step in our evolution. However, the beauty in life is that the universe already knows exactly what we need as the next stepping stone in our journey to reaching and experiencing our full potential. If you are still here, then it means that you still have time to make another attempt and overcome any fears or previous failures. Even if you fail to take action today, tomorrow, or shortly thereafter, the universe will bring you another opportunity to begin again and stretch beyond your current comfort zone. So relax, don't beat yourself up. Just prepare and get ready to capitalize on your next opportunity. As a lot of really great coaches in the NBA, the NFL, Major League Baseball, soccer, all help get their players focus on, especially when something goes wrong, is they always are saying next play, next play. In other words, it's helping to get them focused in the present moment what they need to do right now because being upset about the fact they just got burned in the last play is going to emotionally hijack them so that causes the next play to be even worse or maybe just as bad as the last one the only thing that matters is what you do from moment to moment because the reality is there is only one moment and that's the present moment the future's not here yet the past is gone you can't do anything about it the only thing you can do is show up and give the best version of yourself that you're capable in the present moment and then let the chips fall where they may without any attachment to outcomes or things being a certain way because if we get attached to circumstances being the way we want them to or we get attached to a certain person showing up in our life the way we wanted or hoped or expected them to and they don't we're going to be disappointed the reality is when you just click with somebody it's easy it's effortless they're thinking and feeling the same thing that you are. And this is why you prepare. That's why I say all the time, repetition is the mother of skill. That's why you read the book 10 to 15 times. So when somebody comes along like this and you just click, it's like the love stories are supposed to be in the movies that present a good, healthy archetype of what a masculine and feminine type of relationship with a healthy sexual polarity is supposed to be like create a love story in your own life that's worthy of maybe even writing and telling your kids or your future generation or just your friends. doesn't matter how long it lasts. It's just as long as you get to have the experience and it lasts as long as you want to stay in it. It gives you control over your life and your destiny and it gives you choices. Because when you have a choice, when you have choices, you stay in an abundance mentality and you don't worry about certain things, not working out with certain people or certain circumstances or job opportunities, whatever it happens to be, because you know another one's going to come along. But if you have a scarcity mindset, you're going to be in a place of fear and you're going to try to hold on to things and force things 
that really aren't meant to be and you're just going to frustrate yourself and make life a lot more difficult than it needs to be. As that saying goes, I don't know who said it, but he said, let go and let God, if you will. Hey coach, I'm a 21 year old from Sydney, Australia that has been following your work for about six months. I've just started my fifth read of your book, but I had to put it down and write you this message due to a goosebumps moment I just had. Those are really awesome because you they're powerful emotionally as well and you never forget them. And the older you get, those become a lot of your best favorite memories. And the reality is life is just collecting a lot of great memories and a lot of great experiences. Hopefully, if you're doing the right things. This relates to a trip that I've just come back from in the United States. Fucking unreal country you have, mate. <laughs> I agree, man. <laughs> the beach is just, it's beautiful. I've traveled all over the world, and the reality is there's no place like home. I love it here. I was part of a tour group of many young people around the same age as me. One of the Aussie women on this tour was also a solid nine. I was traveling solo and made an effort with everyone to ask questions rather than talk about myself, something I later found out was a turn on. Although she'd shown various signs of attraction, I was genuinely surprised one drunken evening at the hotel when her friends explained exactly how attracted to me she was. I'm not sure if she put them up to it, but everyone left the hotel room when I strode over and sat next to her on the bed. I suspect they may have been helping her. She did seem nervous, so I loosened her up with casual banner, heavy on the humor. We had a few more beers, laughed, and cuddled. It wasn't long after that that she received a warm beef injection. I've heard that somewhere. Hang out, have fun, and hook up. The next few nights ended with much the same way. She's one of the most fun girls I've met, and when the tour ended and we said goodbye, I just felt so grateful for the awesome experience that we'd had. I'm smiling ear to ear as I'm typing this. I'll bet you are. We, what made that easy is she was really into you as well. And therefore the love story flowed naturally just like she'd probably been fantasizing about since she was a little girl. When you really like the other person, you're enthusiastic. It's like you never seem to run out of things to talk about because you're fascinated by them. You want to know about them. They want to know about you. It's beautiful. We still message every couple of days and I keep it brief and fun. She'll be coming home soon and doesn't live too far from me. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. That's the right attitude. Not attached to the outcome. Just, hey, I'm going to live in the present moment and enjoy her while she's here. We get ourselves into trouble when we start thinking about the future, what may or may not happen. And women can sense that. They can sense when we're somewhere else. Rereading through that feels like an allegory for the wider transformation I'm still going through to get closer to the true me, the me that you've helped awaken. The reason I find all this so important is that this sort of thing wouldn't have happened to me six months ago because of my incorrect attitude and mindset. For the last six months, I've been putting myself first, really enjoying my work and studies, playing sports, training frequently, reading, eating healthy, seeing my mates as often as possible, and reaping the amazing results in the process. He's become the kind of person that he wants to attract. He's raising his vibration, and that makes it easy for somebody else that's on the same vibe just to flow right in. Without looking for it, you just live your life and you encounter amazing people in the process of that. I'd love for you to include this email in a video newsletter. And if you do, I would like to let all the gentlemen listening to this know, regardless of circumstances or the stage of their journey they're at, that like me, you've made an active choice to change your life for the better. In other words, you decide. You decided that the way you were living, the standards that you were holding yourself accountable to, were not acceptable and you chose to raise them. So you sought out some new information that obviously is what led you to my work and then you decided to take action and do something about it. I think it was Woody, Woody, um, what the hell's his name, Woody Allen said 90% of success is showing up. You gotta participate in your own rescue. You gotta at least take action and he did that and that's why he got better. And that's why it's such a great success story because he prepared. Remember Confucius said, 
Success depends upon prior preparation, and without said preparation, there's sure to be failure. Good luck to you all on your journey. And he puts in bold letters, when we let go of who we are, we become what we might be. That's a paraphrase from a Lao Tzu quote. Mr. Wayne, I've got a fuckload more work to do on myself, but I've never felt better in where I am in this present moment. Thank you, sir. Well, thanks for being awesome because you make the world a better place just by everybody that you interact with. You're happy, you make the people around you happy, you make everybody feel good. What's interesting, and I, it's been a few years since I probably mentioned this, but when, what's interesting, they've done scientific studies that when a person does something nice for somebody else, their endorphins are raised up. In other words, those feelings, the endorphins that make you feel good, you've, your body, your brain produces more of them. And the person receiving an act of, random act of kindness, they also start to feel good. But what's really interesting is somebody observing an act of kindness between two people, their endorphins are raised as well. It's pretty interesting. So you literally make the world a better place by just going around and doing nice things for other people and giving other people great experiences, being the life of the party, being the captain of the football team, if you will, the kind of person everybody wants to be around because they make them feel good. We all want to feel good because that's a natural state to us. Feeling miserable and upset and angry and unhappy it takes energy to do that. That's why when people are stressed out, that's when they tend to get sick or they tend to get colds and things of that nature. But when you're really happy and you're really healthy and you feel good, you hardly ever get sick. You need less sleep. You're mentally sharper. It's just a lot of benefits. So set your life up in such a way as you don't feel like you need a vacation from it. So if you'd like to get my help personally with a personal or professional problem that you're helping me, Helping, that you need help with, that you're trying to achieve your outcome, go to my website, click the products tab at the top of your screen, and book whatever coaching option works for you. And if you haven't got a copy of my book yet, you can read it for free on my website by subscribing to the email newsletter. And you can also get the audio version of my book from audible.com by doing a free Audible trial. And that way, they'll give you my book for free. So either way, you can't lose. So I will talk to you soon.